Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel Scorpio. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're finding safe and doing good Scorpio. This reading for today, this is for the Scorpio sign. Thank you so much Scorpio for supporting the channel. Thank you so much Scorpio for being here. This is a daily collective reading for the Scorpio sign. I am channeling June to July energy, okay? This is an open message for the Scorpio sign, please. I want you to think of your situation. Think about your focus. Think about your person, if it's a person. I'll connect with your energy. And we will look into your psychic reading or your daily collective reading, okay? I am channeling June to July energy. If I will be able to pick up a new... Um, if I will be able to pick up a specific timeline, I'll let you know, Scorpio, okay? What can I get for the Scorpio sign, please? Let's look into your situation. Let's look into your focus. And then let's look into your overall energy. The second part of... Ooh, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. The second part of the reading, Scorpio. Let's see what's coming towards you. What is the guided message for the Scorpio sign? What can I get for the Scorpio sign? In love, career, money, and general situationship. This is for the Scorpio sign, please. You have the Two of Cups and the Three of Swords. Okay. All right, Scorpio, let's start your reading. You're starting the reading, Scorpio, with... <coughs> excuse me. You're starting the reading, Scorpio, with the Nine of Pentacles in here, okay? The Nine of Pentacles is next to the Page of Wands. Um, I feel like, Scorpio, you're connected to a situation or a focus where you could be there's a bit of overwhelming factor with the nine of pentacles and the page of wands in here scorpio because you want the nine but you have a ten already okay so you're connected to a situation or a person or a project or a desire where it looks like you have it already and like there's something that you want and there is a situation or a person that you're seeking for it okay because page of wands if you look at the page of wands he looks like he's crying look at that scorpio the page of wands okay so the page of wands is looking to the nine of pentacles in here and at the back of the page of wands are the ten of pentacles in here so you're searching or looking or wanting a situation and what you want to get out of this situation or person is a nine. But whatever it is that you want is something that would downgrade you. Are you okay with that? You know, it's like a desire. It's um, desiring the situation or person. It's difficult or it's kind of complicated. And you're willing to go through the challenges to have this person situation or focus however the reward is not big Scorpio so I want you to look into your mission your purpose your intention because you have something much better than this situation or person this is very straightforward four of swords the eight of pentacles in here and the king of cups you're definitely the king of cups in here so you could be dealing with, you know, you could be dealing with, you could be searching for, you could be searching for a new house, like, because I'm, I'm hearing the word, like, you, you want to house, okay, like, um, you're searching, looking for to house, or, um, it, you could be looking for a real property, you could be looking for a job, you could be looking for a business, you're searching for something that you have it already, and somehow, in search of something of in search of something outside of what you have what you've chosen to replace what you have it has a low end value Scorpio and it will require you to work hard and it's gonna give you the same result you know where in fact where you are right now what you have is actually a perfect 10 with a ten of pentacles in here okay you know 
sometimes we could have a tunnel vision Scorpio sometimes our desire to have this or that or maybe somebody in the process of working towards getting that or this or that person it could overwhelm us and because of the overwhelmed emotions that we feel too much you know it could the the sometimes the the desire that we want it could make us feel too much and become overwhelmed with emotions okay and we might not know that or we might not know which feelings are actually valid or whether do we still want this or we simply we're testing or comparing okay because there's something heavy about your reading like there's a heavy desire there's a pursuit of something of some sort and you have you're willing to put your work but when i look at it from the outside like if i was outside of the situation you know like sometimes when we're doing something we're so tunnel vision invested emotionally so invested might be overwhelmed that we don't see how other people per perceive it per perceive it but in this reading if i was your friend i see you intense I see you, I see how you're intensely wanting, searching, pursuing. But when I look at the value of the person or the situation or the very heart's desire, you're, you're much better without it or you're downgrading Scorpio, okay? Or it's a, it's a minus, not a plus. It's going to deduct a worth of your value. The, the value that you're going to get is less versus from you know it, it's it's a reading I'll, I'll give you some example okay so um you replace your job you're looking for a new job and you're replacing it you're gonna trade your job more money but then when you calculate the travel and the time the hours it's it's equivalent plus you have to endure the changes and this and that so there is something of what you want that is less of a value of where you are right now so you could be operating from emotions scorpio you could be because this is a king of cups you know the king of cups one of the negative side of the king of cups is he could be overwhelmed he is an alpha emotional i want it i want to have it because i'm in love with it the logic is not working so um review review your intention simplify your feelings review your intention um, because it feels like this is too much and it's leading you to the same thing or probably less the value that you would get is less versus what you have right now it's like you're gonna buy a new house and that house you're gonna trade your <clears throat> you're going you, it's a vibe Scorpio where you're going to trade your previous house to something new that has a less value and probably not a match something like that so look into your intention look into your feelings because there's something mismatching in here Scorpio okay there's something as a mismatch you're operating too emotional in here look into it because your email your emotion scorpio um your emotion can distract you your feelings can overwhelm me and distract you to what it is that you really want like what it is that you want from this like you know what value what, what do you want to get out of this because what you want is is something less of like you're gonna get you like you want you want a problem something like that like okay you want this but there's a problem and you want it it's as simple as that you might be overwhelmed so check your emotions scorpio okay um check your check your emotions put an effort to bring yourself back to the center where you can feel your emotions your logic your intuition is grounded there's a need for you to review and center yourself Scorpio okay all right because 
the current energy of your Scorpio and we're gearing toward towards we have a new moon you know the new moon is in Gemini the new moon Gemini Gemini is Ge Gemini is smart inquisitive but it could be fickle one of the one of the thing about the Gemini the negative character of the Gemini it it's two phase you could be wanting this and wanting it at the same time or you could want two things at the same time or you could be wanting this and tomorrow you could change your mind so there could there could be like duality i'm sorry there is a duality and right now look at you this is your current energies the moon card the emperor so you're operating from something very emotional i want you to i want you to really pay attention to your emotions because you need to put a bit of logic and intuition and practicality it could also blow up from some impulsive movement um, I'm hearing the word out of character like you want someone who's out of character because you like it so much emotionally they're out of character their behavior you don't see it like somehow you're blindsided okay um, I believe the Emperor card and the judgment card this is you this could be a new moon reading because you're blindsided by your desire you're blindsided by your emotions by your desire within the next 24 hours Scorpio your emperor energy your Martian energy the fire energy the Phoenix energy inside of you Scorpio it will be activated and you will see the light thank you spirit okay I was quite something is gonna come up in the next 24 hours maybe right after the new moon that you will realize that the two sides two sides of the story Okay, there's something that you're working on that you might want to change your alliance or your priorities or your focus. Something is going to wake you up and shake you up from a desire for something that you're doing, from something that you're about to embark. And it's for the better, Scorpio, because the center of the reading is the emperor. I'm glad it's here. Okay, because it's two emotions. And right now you're the moon card in here. You have page of cups. You can say no. You can always say no. You can postpone it. You can say, apology, I'm not interested, especially if this is a big money or a big deal, Scorpio. Like two of ones before, before, like it's a reading, Scorpio, where before you engage yourself into a long-term contract, money, real property, think hard before you sign it up. There's something that you're doing, that the value is less of what you have right now, Scorpio. I might save your life. Or I might save you lots of money or I might save your time okay yeah four of cups reconsider okay Scorpio this if there is this message is so, so strong reconsider your action reconsider reconsider what you're doing because you're operating from emotions um, look into all areas of the situation or maybe person or project you need to unleash you you have to unleash the Emperor the side of you that is pragmatic, logical, experience, um, don't just operate from the heart. Because this time around, this maybe this this speaks about money. Maybe this has I, I'm also, I'm also getting that. It could be it could it's possible that it has a long term effect in your money, in your money in your career. It could also be relationship. So make sure that whatever you're signing is something that you could stay there for a very long time there's something that you would sign up or get apply approve buy commits you know contract uh, that it might not be the best case scenario for you especially the judgment card so be honest with you Scorpio something is gonna come out of the light like there would be a light bulb moment the judgment card and this will I'm hearing the word cease fire you from doing something or decision and it would save you lots of money lots of time it will save you from um, a bit of a downfall okay so something will remind you to double check operate not just with your feelings pragmatic logical practical and spiritual because I believe your spirit is telling you um, this is a duplicate this is um, this is a rework this is a duplicate this is less 
value of what you deserve for some of you guys okay this is a move this is a plan this is also accepting a responsibility for some of you guys you're accepting a responsibility something that you shouldn't be doing you know okay that's good now the second part of the reading scorpio let's see what's coming towards you um well the six of cups this is what's coming towards you june to july it's coming from a king of wands this situation connected to here but i don't think so okay because i feel like this first reading is life is money it's career it's a real property it's a big something or responsibility as well it's a it's a it's something that will shift you in a different direction and you're operating from uh, being excited and from your feelings but not from your logic okay like it's a feeling of you're just excited to leave like you know sometimes when you're too hungry like imagine i'm so hungry and the first thing you see you ate it and then later on you kind of regret it because you you wish you would have thought what you put in your belly because there's better options or i would say you should have stick to you know what you usually have something of that scorpio okay now so the second part of the reading well this is relationship this is definitely people connection because six six of cups you know what this person king of wands you went for a coffee you went for a date you went for a movie you spend lots of time with this person the king of wands you travel together let's look at the six of cups the eight the page and the temperance card you know this is a stubborn person scorpio the six of cups what's coming towards you um probably june to july probably up until august it could be a friend or it could love a specific person it is a specific person they're very nosy <clears throat> so someone someone is going to give you a call someone is going to message you okay? someone is going to give you a call someone is going to message you you would notice this person is very nosy they ask a lot of questions and you answer all of their questions <laughs> but they're very nosy they ask questions because they're interested to know your availability this king of wands is interested to know your availability the temperance card because two of cups a three of swords i think they want they want to i'm hearing the word they want to like they want to go for a shortcut um like they want to go for a shortcut scorpio where okay um if i want scorpio back in my life I shouldn't just be texting or calling um, they want for things like they they feel that like this person this person asks questions a lot because they're thinking about your availability your schedule whether you're single if this is a lover they're very nosy they believe that they will have a better chance if they spend time with you okay this is a clever plan if I want to get you a tooth if I want to get a two of cups moment with you Scorpio then I better act now like you know spend time with you like it's not enough to just text your like it's not enough it's not enough to text your call you Scorpio something like that mm. it is as if this person is you know like a survey <laughs> like this person is so nosy and interested well they're so nosy and asking a question because they're interested it is as if this person is sending you a survey like somehow this person is wanting to know what did you do in the last three to four months three to four years or i don't know three to 18 16 months for some of you guys okay um they cannot they cannot help like they cannot wait okay they cannot wait the king of wands is a, it's a king of wands this person is very impatient which means that they cannot wait to see you like you know either they talk to you like maybe this person like okay you're exchanging message don't be surprised if they call you okay or you could be you could be answering questions and okay can i see you tomorrow it's 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 that okay like they're in a hurry they want to take a shortcut and they also want to take advantage that you're replying responding scorpio yeah 
this is what I have for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And about the first reading, think hard of the situation. Because I could feel that you are... I don't know what it is that you're doing, but you are in such a better place versus the one that you seek. There's something that you're seeking, okay? Um, look after yourself, Scorpio. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. You have a great day.